morning guys hi it's tuesday so today i'm going to make um a meat and potato pie uh, i am on a tental stick shift this week so rather than try to make a, a pie after six o'clock at night time i've started early in the morning i'm going to get the meat and potato filling started and then the pastry as well have that all cooling down pastry in the fridge and then it's easy enough to assemble later on so come on then i'll bring you down show you what it is that i've got today right so for the filling i went to the butchers yesterday and i got 500 grams of diced beef um some potatoes i use mama's pipe that's the ones i prefer but use whichever ones you prefer i have an onion and a couple of stock cubes now that's your filling for the pastry it's 300 grams of plain flour 75 grams of lard 75 grams of butter and just some water enough to bring it together now come on then what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the filling and get that on cooking right so i'm just going to start off with the beef now as you can see because this is butcher's beef you do have different size cuts and i quite like that because some of them go stay really chunky and some of them you know go right down it's lovely so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to salt and pepper these you could put flour on or whatever it is that you want to do I've got some oil heating up in my pan. I'm just going to make sure that that's covered. Now this doesn't have to have a hard sear on it. It's just enough just to get a little bit of colour on and a little bit of flavour. I'm going to do it in two batches. So I'll get the first batch in now. There we go. So I'll move that to one side. What I'll do is, is I'll start on the onion. So I'm just going to chop this down. Sometimes I do use a food processor to do this, just so it's down, it's like a bit of a mush. But today is not that day. So I'm just going to get rid of this, give that a quick wash because it looks a bit mucky on the inside and then we'll come back. Right guys, so I've browned off the meat. Like I say, it doesn't have to be a hard brown or anything like that. So that'll just go to one side for now. Um, while I did that, I did chop up the onion. I've chopped up, I've got two large, car large potatoes. I've chopped these ones up pretty small. I'm going to put these ones in at the beginning. Um, so they sort of like melt into it and thicken the, the whole pie filling. And then about half an hour before the end, I've got some bigger, chunkier bits, which is going to be the chunky potatoes in the pie. So what we're going to do is I'll just bring you around. If you can see that okay. Yes. A little bit more oil in with your beef juices that you've already got in there. And we'll nicely fry off the onion. I'll pick up all them bits of um, residue that the beef has left over. So we'll, we'll get them nice and soft and then we'll bring you back. And it's just an assembly job after that. Right, so onions are nicely browned. So we'll put the beef back in with all of its pieces as well. These potatoes in. The stock cubes. I was shown how to do these stock cubes in the packet, and then you just open it up and sprinkle it out. But to be perfectly honest. I can't get away with doing that. So there we go. Right, now some hot water out the kettle. Oops. Just 
just mix that all in. It comes back up the boil. I'm going to put the lid on and then let that go. Just tick over for about an hour and a half. And then after that time, maybe it's an hour, I'll check it after an hour. And if it's all broken down, then I'll put them other potatoes in. If they need a bit more cooking, I'll cook it a bit more before I put the other potatoes in as well. So, get the lid on that. And that'll come up to the boil quicker with the lid on as well. And we'll get on with doing the pastry and get that in the fridge. Right, and here we go with the pastry again. So I've weighed out 300 grams of plain flour. Just put that in. Oh, I always do that. There we go. Get rid of that. And I've got my butter and my lard all cut up out of the fridge. That'll just go straight in as well. Pop the lid on. Oh, I forgot a bit of salt. A little bit of salt. fridge and that will be used to grease my pan later on. Just going to get rid of the water, put that over, a little bit of a clean up, a little bit of a dry up. Got my cling film ready. There we go. And I did this the last time didn't I? I put it underneath there and I couldn't get it off. Over there. There. Take the pastry. All of it. Push that over there for the moment. And just get it like that. All of the pastry out. I'm gonna waste it and then all I do is don't handle it as much as what you think. Just pop the cling film on like that. So I have the pie filling already going in there about an hour and a half but you don't even have to touch it just keep checking it every now and again. Pastry's done that'll go in the fridge so the rest of it will just get done later on. Hey guys, so this has had an hour, just cooking down like that. I've just drained off these other potatoes. And I'm just going to pop them in and then give them another half an hour and then that will be your filling done. As you can see, the original potatoes are starting to break down like that look. So they're already done. They have thickened a little bit, but obviously some more starch will come out of these ones. So we'll just leave it for another hour, uh, sorry, another 30 minutes, check it after that. I'm just going to turn it up to bring it back up to the boil with the cold potatoes gone in. And then what I'll do is I'll just turn it off and let it cool down naturally. So when I'm ready to make the pie, the pastry's cold and the filling's cold. Hi guys, so I've got my pastry out of the fridge. Um, I've brought it out about 10 minutes just to warm up slightly. Uh, there's our pie filling thickened up but what I'll do is, is I don't want all of that gravy in the pie but that will be the gravy to go on top of the pie I've got some mushy peas there ready just to go on and I have greased my pan tin now it's a nine inch fluted pan tin okay now come on let's get this all sorted right so here we go just roll this out Trying to keep it into as much of a circle as you possibly can. Here we go. Right, 
Just keep rolling. I've already took a little bit off for the lid, so that's already over there. Dump your nails in a little bit there. Right. One more the other way, and then I think this will be about right. over there. Yep, that looks like I've got maybe just a tad more this way. Just a tad. Roll that up on there. Bring this across. Just lightly put it in there. And just lift it up and let it fall so then you're not stretching the pastry. Lift it up and let it fall. Just go all the way around. There we go. But I wasn't very incorporated there, but that's not going to make any difference whatsoever. Just press it into these little bits. White on the bottom there. Let's fix it as you go. Just need to pick it up. Let it fall. There we go. Right, I'm going to pop that to one side and we'll do the lid. Right, so I've just got the pastry out for me lid. Make sure that that's well flowered. Right. Just a little bit more. Oh. Looks like I'm cleaning the carpet. about right right I'm just gonna get all set up and then we'll get the rest of this pie done guys so it's just about to come out of the oven so i'll bring you up i'll get all my things sorted and then we'll come back to you right so i've got it out of the oven um i could hear a little bit of sizzle so i don't know whether i've got a little bit of leakage underneath but this is as hot as the sun right now so i'm just going to leave it to rest the peas aren't quite done yet anyway ian's not home from work so i'll bring you back once this has had a bit of a rest okay Right, so let's see if I have got a little bit of stickage. I'm just going to pop that onto there. Oh no, it seems to be working okay. Just going to um, move this. That's where there's glue. <laughs> oh. Well, a very um. Oops. Very slippy gloves. Right. So I'll get cleaned up a little bit. And then we'll come back to you. Right. So 
Actually, after it nearly ended up in the sink, I'm just gonna. But I feel these gloves are very slippy. Yes. I'm just gonna go through. I'm just using the butter knife. But everybody has disasters in the kitchen. Just Still very slip. crispy. You've already got the side bit of this pastry, so you can have the rest of that one. Sample that. <laughs> yep. And there you go. Bit of meat and potato pie. If you look that way. What? Do that. Into the light. Yeah. Make a good thumbnail that. Some mushy peas. I didn't do um, any chips or anything because I thought, well, there's potatoes and there's peas. Trying, trying to cut down on the carbs and that anyway, if I can. Yeah, we're going on holiday shortly, so. Mm. And the leftover gravy. Oh, yeah. Do you want that all over your pie? Yes, please. You've got a little bit of potatoes in there, look, still. I'm just going to get rid of this. Gravy. Well, just pop a little bit of that over the pie. Oh, there wait. you go. I'll do mine shortly. If you want to have a little taste of that, just going to pop that over there for now. Right. Right, see if I can do this without spilling any all over my shirt. Hold it, get that out of your Let's have a go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. That's lush. Gravy is nice and unctuous. The pie crust, lovely. Mm. The meat, got the meat in there. Look, whoa, that's mega. That like, mm. that is another banging pie. Absolutely spot on. Absolutely delicious. Give it a go. Definitely give it a go. That is lush. Absolutely lush. Right, well we're going to go and get our tea now. Yep. It is now 25 to 7, so we'll go and have our tea. Settle down. Probably watch a little bit of YouTube. Upload this. <laughs> Upload this, yeah. And then, yeah. And thank you very much for watching again, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, it's Ian's turn tomorrow. And by the way, that fish that he did last night was mm. absolutely gorgeous. It was nice, like. Really was. Like. So, you know, if you haven't seen that, head over to Betty Eats Food. And Ian is going to do... What, what is it doing, doing tomorrow? tomorrow? It's the chipotle, chipotle meatballs. meatballs. With spaghetti. Yeah, right? chipotle meatballs with spaghetti, yes. That uh, is one of our favourites. It's lovely. We've it's done lovely. that so many times. Well, yeah, sorry, Ian's done that so many times. Not for a long time, though. No. Not for a long time. So. so if you want to watch that, then tune in to his tomorrow night. But I hope you've enjoyed this one. Even with the mishaps, mm -hmm. everybody has a mishap in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Right, see you later. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye for now.